So at this point, we have our multimeter attached to our positive and negative, checking the battery voltage. And so all I'm going to do is hit the min max button on my multimeter right here. And that min max is now going to record and hold the highest and lowest voltage reading. So I'm able to do this job on my own. And we can do this with a carbon pile and I'll show that to you in a separate video to check our batteries. But often even without a carbon pile you always have a load attached to the batteries and that's going to be the engine. So as long as you can get the control circuit to get the engine to crank you can load test your batteries. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to crank the engine and it's going to lower the voltage, it's going to drop the potential of the batteries as it moves through the starter. And I don't want to see this recording go any lower than 9.6 volts. Alright, so I cranked it and now what we're going to do is hit the min and the max. So we can see that the minimum voltage where it was at was 12.45. With the cranking of the engine, the lowest these batteries got, or the lowest the potential got in the batteries, was 10.8. 9.6 is our threshold that would say these batteries are either too dead or damaged, either a short or an open cell in one of or both of the batteries, preventing us from getting our full cranking potential. So because we get a minimum of 10.8, we would say that these batteries are likely not our problem as we're troubleshooting the starting system.